Hey guys, welcome back to another Vinny Vid production in conjunction with Vinny Build Structures. Uh, we're going to do a little bit more on Devin's build today. Um, I will show you the interior color and I also will show you the exterior color. Um, but first, I got a couple of things I want to say. Update on t-shirts. Um, I had an email this morning from uh, Custom Ink and they told me that they shipped the t-shirts yesterday so I did a tracking it's coming UPS um, I tracked it and currently it's in Las Vegas and estimated time of arrival to my house will be uh, uh, July 22nd it's about three or four days from now so you guys uh, will be getting t-shirts here very shortly the next thing I want to talk about is, I don't know how many of you guys are into planes and jets and stuff like that. Well, uh, first of all, I was in the Navy station on an aircraft carrier. And uh, I also lived and worked in Miramar, uh, where Miramar Naval Air Station is. And uh, I used to watch uh, our jet fighters do touch and goes all the time. Uh, and on the carrier, that was really fun to watch. But anyhow... I watched the video from Boeing this morning. If you guys are interested in planes, you got to check out this uh, Boeing 787-9. Sounds like a locomotive, but um, this is a passenger airline that maneuvers like a military jet. I've never seen uh, a passenger airline do a touch and go. Anyhow, if you guys are interested, log into the Boeing uh, website and check it out. It's uh, real, real cool. Um, anyhow, um, we'll get on with the video and we'll show you the next step in Devin's build. And I uh, hope you guys like it. And uh, as always, you know, your comments, questions, subs, and input are always welcome. Anyhow, let's get to the video. All right, guys, this is the next step in Devin's build. Um, as you can see, uh, I got everything all taped off, um, all the main walls, I actually only the four main walls, I still got to work on the upper uh, wall to this, um, all the steel structures there, and what I'm going to do is paint the, I'll uh, prime the walls first, and uh, after that, I'll, when they dry, I'm going to take them off of here, and then I'll go ahead and do the steel structure parts, because they're going to be a different color. So anyhow, uh, give me a second and we'll be right back. Alright guys, this is what I'm going to be using, uh, Rust-Oleum, and it's a white primer. And the interior walls will get a white primer because I'm going to be using a light color for the inside walls. Um, and then the uh, all of the um, trusses and steel beam and structure is going to be a different color also. So basically, I'm just going to go ahead and spray this. Um, I'll spray a couple of them, I don't think you guys need to see. Uh, the whole process, but uh, we'll show you anyhow, okay? So uh, here we go. And it's a bit windy out here today, too. But uh, and all the masking tape that you see on here will uh, stay on until the interior is completely uh, painted. So here we go. Always stop before and finish after. Peace. And it doesn't have to be a very heavy coat, just enough to uh, make the next coat of paint stick to it. As you can see, it's a little windy out here. The overspray is going all over the place. Just hope it's not getting on my camera. Let this first coat dry and then I'll give it a second coat of primer. So I'm, I'm sure that the uh, uh, top coat will, fit, will, will adhere very well. Anyhow, uh, I think that's it for now. I'm going to take this inside because it's a little windy out here and I don't want this to wind up in my pool. So, uh, stay tuned and we'll be back to paint these guys. And like I said, all the uh, masking tape will stay on now until the, the interior walls are painted. Anyhow, uh, stand by and we'll be back here in a few minutes. 
All right, guys, for the next step on the uh, trusses and steel structure, I'm going to be using uh, another Rust-Oleum product. It's a primer gray, and that's the color it's going to remain. And like I said, always start before your project and end after your project. Try and get all the sides you need to get. So you can only do this once, you don't have to do it twice. Now you notice I'm not painting the back sides of this because of where uh, it's going to get glued down to all the spots that are masked off on the walls. But anyhow, I think I got it all. Let's take a look here. That looks good. I don't see any white. Go ahead and put this back over here. Take a look from this side. And I see, see some white. Sorry if it's not in focus, guys, but I'm concentrating on painting this rather than the camera. But anyhow, uh, those are done. Alright, guys, after we got all the... Uh, the rest of the steel all painted up. Now it's time to do the, uh, the roof trusses. So we're going to use the same uh, gray primer for this as we did in the beginning. And so we'll just go ahead and give it a squirt. I can't believe this wind, man. This wind just won't quit. <laughs> get around this side here. And uh, for these little trusses here, I'm still waiting. I need to go to my hobby shop and pick them up. But it's here, so I just need to get over there and pick it up. Uh, anyhow, um, stand by and we'll get back to a little bit more of the video. Alright guys, what you're looking at here is the interior walls of Devin's engine house. Um, I did give it a second coat of primer. And today we're going to give it the interior color, which is going to be uh, a Krylon and it's called piston gray so uh, the techniques are the same as putting on the primer um, the only thing you need to remember is that you start before the project and then after the project and you'll see what I'm talking about so here we go Seems to be covering pretty good. It's got a wider, uh, a wider spray pattern than the uh, uh, Rust-Oleum paint. But you see what I'm doing? I'm starting here and I'm ending here. Always start and finish after your project. Sorry if my arm's in the way, guys. Not as windy as it was yesterday, but it is way overcast and they're predicting rain today, so I want to get this done early. Uh, but in the meanwhile, um, I think that's going to be it for this section of the uh, video. I am going to do an exterior color um, and show you guys what the exterior color is going to be. Um, I'm going to do it on one wall for now, but uh, hopefully uh, Devin will like it and. Uh, get back to me on it anyhow let me finish this off here because I see some white spots and we'll come down on this end and hit it again and of course this is just the first coat I will be giving it a second coat uh, in a few few hours or so when this paint dries maybe even I'll wait till tomorrow but anyhow uh, stand by and I'll show you the exterior color here in a few minutes uh, I'll be right back
All right, guys, we're back out here at the paint shop, and uh, AKA my backyard. Um, Devin is a pretty hard person to get in touch with, so uh, I took it upon myself to do exterior colors on his uh, uh, engine house. Um, since I'm a BNSF guy, I gave it some BNSF colors. Anyhow, let me get you down to the paint table and show you what I've done. So here we go. All right, Devin, um, as you can see, um, I originally told you I was going to do yellow with green polka dots, but uh, yellow is not BNSF colors, so I decided to do it orange with green polka dots. I hope you like the color. Um, if uh, you want any changes done to it, please get back to me and let me know. Uh, so, anyhow, uh, as always, your comments, questions, input, and subs are always welcome. For now, that's all, folks. BNSF 6951 out.